In support of Johnny Depp, I'm going to be trying out his favorite dessert, sticky toffee pudding. Now, I've heard of sticky toffee pudding from the Great British Baking Show. If you've watched that before, then maybe you have too, but I've never actually tried it, but I freaking love dates. So in order to show our support, let's give it a go. So the first thing that I had to do was combine the dates with some water and simmer them over the stove for about 15 minutes until they started to absorb the water. And then I put them into my Nutribullet and pureed them into this little goopy powder. I'm following the recipe from Food and Wine magazine, and the next thing we do is put the softened butter with the light brown sugar and combine it. Oop, might help if I plug it in. I feel like I can be a little bit more supportive than this. That's much better. Then we're gonna incorporate our wet ingredients. Put in one teaspoon of vanilla. I always estimate because I feel like I've baked for so long that I'm just good at it. Maybe I'm not, who knows. One egg that's been sitting on the counter giving room temperature for about an hour now. Now I'm gonna add in the dates and the flour. I think I'm gonna do this in two batches. All right, almost incorporated. Scoop in all of this date mixture. It's a lot thicker than what I thought it was gonna be. I realize this is a little bit over the top. I also wish I could talk in pirate the whole time, but we don't want that. The rest of the flour looks pretty good, like a regular t cake. I don't know why they call it pudding. Anyone know why they call it pudding? So now we're gonna put these in these little ramekins. You can also use a muffin tin apparently, but since I have ramekins, I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna fill them up about halfway, three quarters of the way. Or in my best Jack Sparrow voice. I'm gonna use this cookie scoop to see which one of these works better. I don't know what I said. And I'm just gonna spread it out nice and evenly. And now I'm gonna bake them for about 22 minutes. I think I'm gonna brown the butter so that way it'll give it a little bit of extra cause why not be extra? My butter browned in the pan for about four minutes and then I added the light brown sugar. So stirring this together, I did not think it was actually ever going to come together. So I just kept cooking it to make sure the brown sugar would melt. I thought I have nothing to lose at this point. So I'm gonna add in the cream. And miraculously, I kept stirring and it started to come together. So I let that simmer for about 15 minutes and then it looked like this. Well, they don't smell too bad, but I think they're a little bit darker than what they're supposed to be. Whoops, my bad. Let's hope and pray I can get one of these out and they're not stuck to the side. I thought these were burnt. They're nice and delicate. I'm just gonna try to tip it right into the cup. It came out, yay. My sauce looks good. Let's pour some over the top. Let's see how this tastes. Holy crap, that's sweet. That cake is light and airy. I don't know why it would be called a pudding. I thought it was gonna be super thick and heavy. Oh my gosh, the edges of the cake have like this caramely texture. If you've never tried this, you really should. It is so amazingly good and decadent. Well, sticky toffee pudding is a winner in my book, as are you, Mr. Depp. Check out this video over here if you also want to try a different kind of dessert slash appetizer that includes dates and bacon and brown sugar. I'll see you next time. Bye. Nine pieces of eight.